Spurs are in talks for bail. Bayern switch defensive target. Strikers are in demand. A new Champions League could be headed for America. And a chance to round up all coming up in the next few minutes. As I'm your host, Matt Froelich. You are the one footballers and this is the Daily News. First off, fan, could we see Gareth Bell back at Tottenham Hotspur? It's been almost seven years since the Welshman left White Hart Lane for the Bernabeu. But according to several Spanish football experts, few representatives from Real Madrid have been in London for talks with Daniel Levy about a potential return. Now, we've all heard these rumours before. They've been flying around for the last few years that not only Bale will leave Real Madrid, but they'll come back to Spurs. Obviously, the likes of Manchester United have been in the mix as well, as well as a move to China last summer, which Florentino Perez blocked right at the 11th hour. This time, though, it looks like it may be a little bit more serious. Not serious enough for Bale to actually move, but whatever's between an actual transfer and a complete bullshit rumour. Basically, Bale hasn't really started much this season. He's always injured or really not in favour with Zinedine Zidane. And especially with their recent signing of Rainier Jesus, it's clear that Real Madrid are definitely looking to the future. Martin Odegaard is going to come back from loan. Vinicius Junior and Rodrigo are doing the business up front. They've still got Karen Benzema. Luka Jovic is in the squad still as well. Aiden Hazard's only just joined the club. Real Madrid are full of young, brilliant attackers. Maybe take Benzema out of that. But it looks like there may not be a future, certainly not a long future, for Bale at the club. So would he actually do good by returning to Spurs? Yes, it's probably not what Spurs want, an overpaid injury prone player on their list. But the quality that Gareth Bale can bring and the match-winning player that he is, Spurs could definitely do with him at the moment, especially with Harry Kane out injured probably until the end of the season. But moving on and to Bayern Munich now, and actually talking of Real Madrid letting players go, their fullback Alvo Odriozola could be on his way to Bayern Munich. This is because basically they've been linked with every single fullback under the sun, and it's clear that they still want defensive cover because of the injuries that they've had. Hernandez is back in training, but they still want someone down that right-hand side probably with a view to switching Joshua Kimmich into midfield on a more permanent basis. Last week it was Thomas Munier, and Nelson Semedo and now this week it's João Cancelo which they've been told won't be leaving Manchester City and now as you mentioned Odrio Sola from Real Madrid. Like I've spoken about before there are a wealth of players at Real Madrid it looks like the fullback is one of those who won't exactly be bursting into the first team anytime soon. A big permanent deal could be good for Bayern Munich but it's thought they'll want a loan with an option to buy. Within Spain both Athletic Bilbao and Sevilla have also made contact with Real Madrid and apparently are close to submitting formal offers for the defender. So if you can't really see that one happening, one that I think you may and I certainly do is that strikers are going to be on the move because they're in such high demand. If you look at Spurs without Harry Kane, Marcus Rashford's injured for Manchester United, Luis Suarez is injured for Barcelona. Goals win football matches. Strikers are a rare commodity at the best of times. So getting a good one in, well, there's going to be a few knocking about and I think that there might be a deal or two to be done in the January transfer window. Of course, when a selling club knows that a buying club is in need of a striker, they'll up the price. But I think the likes of Chichov Piontek could be available for a pretty good price, around 28 to 30 million. Paco Alcacer is going to leave Dortmund after Erling Haaland came in for around 40 million euros. The deals are there to be done. But I want to know from you guys, who do you think is the best option, the best striking option to be signed in the January transfer window? Maybe you think Edison Cavani is worth it, even if it's just for six months. Let me know your thoughts down below on the best striker available in the January transfer window. But next up, I'm moving to some pretty shocking news. Well, I say shocking, it's just the way that football is going these days. Stephen Ross, the billionaire and owner of the Miami Dolphins in the NFL in America, apparently flew into Paris yesterday to hold talks with several major European clubs, as well as UEFA, about bringing a Champions League style competition to the United States during the summer months. Now, he's currently the guy who is investing in the International Champions Cup. We all know it's a pretty big deal in the summer as it pits some of the biggest teams in Europe against each other. But the problem is European teams still treat it as a pre-season tour. Of course they do. They give youth players the chance to shine. They give minutes to players returning from injury. There's obviously gaining fitness in the preseason. And they don't always feel obliged to play the best players that the fans are there to see. And this in my opinion, is completely correct. We already know that players play an insane amount of matches per season. Pep Guardiola has spoken about it in England, about scrapping the League Cup altogether. And the last thing they need is to go and be forced to be competitive in another Champions League-style tournament 
in the summer months as well. I mean, every other year, most of them don't get a break because there's Euros or there's World Cup, or there's also other competitions like the Copa America and the African Cup of Nations as we saw in the summer. Although next year that's been moved to January. Anyway, that's a different story. The fact that they're trying to force competition and force these players into pretty much playing all year round just so the clubs can make a bit more money, that's pretty ridiculous to me. To Stephen Ross and to anyone in America who's thinking of bringing the whole of Europe over for a summer tournament, why don't you invest some more money in your own soccer and maybe the MLS and America can start to bring through some really exciting talents that will raise the whole level of the game and bring bigger crowds in rather than going to pay for overseas players, which as you can see from football fans' reaction online, isn't exactly preferred. So last but not least, we come to a quick roundup of the rest of the day's transfer news, where Aston Villa have paid 10 million to Genk for their forward and Wana Samata. Inter Milan Sporting Director has said that an agreement has been put in place for Victor Moses to join the club on loan from Chelsea. Wolves are interested in Olympiacos winger Daniel Podence and Jack O'Connell, the Sheffield United centre-back, is seen as the next Spurs centre-half as Daniel Levy looks elsewhere for defensive targets. So that's all from me for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Whilst you're down there, smash the like button and click here or here to check out all of the other videos we've got going on on OneFootball. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.